Well, there is an old saying, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. And I can certainly identify with all that stuff. I have been pretty quiet about Missouri's win over Kansas, folks. I thought it was a terrific basketball game, but it was clear to me the Tigers wanted it more than KU. The way they closed the game speaks volumes about the want to in the Missouri players. It was men against boys in the final 220 of that game. It was poise and control against a team that became rattled and fell apart. The Tigers willed their way to victory because they are tougher, both physically and mentally. For the past 48 hours, I have listened to KU fans whine and complain about the officiating. Sure, there are questionable calls in every situation of every game. Let's be honest here, folks. The refs had nothing to do with Tyshawn Taylor missing two free throws at a critical juncture in that basketball game. The refs didn't gag away an eight-point lead in two minutes. And the refs had nothing to do with Marcus Denman outperforming everybody's player of the year when the game was on the line. One more thing. While we're on the subject of officials, Come on now, everybody in college ball understands there's no place in America, no place like the Hoss House of Fog when it comes to getting the benefit of home cooking from the zebras. A week ago in this space, I predicted the final score, Missouri 77, Kansas 71. I almost nailed it. It was close. Missouri 74, Kansas 71. Look, now I know it's painful to admit and even more painful to accept the fact Missouri is the better team this year. Don't believe me? Check the score. Check the polls. Check the national rankings. Case closed. That's Jack Smack.